En Westminster, Bradley Jaden als Javier. En hij is nu klaar. Wij worden warm van binnen bij het horen van deze naam. Maar de rest van Nederland haalt zijn schouders ervoor op. Zo zie je maar, alles is relatief. Maar wij verheugen ons op ons gesprek met niemand minder dan Bradley Jaden van Les Miserables. The arena spectacular. Yeah. That triggers in my mind Cirque du Soleil like images. Mm -hmm. What is the spectacular component of your tour? You know about it well, because I mean, yeah. next month yeah. you'll be starting with it. Well, I think we're. Uh, I think the world is really uh, is chomping at the bit for something like this. You know, we're about to celebrate uh, the 40th anniversary of Les Miserables being in in London for 40 years, and you know, this is a amazing opportunity that we, as a cast member and a company member, get to express this story to the rest of the world on a scale like n no one else has ever seen before. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's very much a bit like the, the All-Star concert that was that took place uh, throughout um, the pandemic, mm -hmm. uh, but it's on a on a massive, it's almost like on steroids. <laughs> it's going to be, you know, we've got a company of over 100 people mm -hmm. and I think it's going to be uh, something very, very exciting. Is in the dark, lies the way of the Lord. Browsing through your CV, you have a very impressive CV. When did you think of yourself that you were fit to uh, to um, uh, be challenged by such high-end roles like Fierro and uh, Raúl? Well, I, I don't think uh, we ever um, expect ourselves in our career to to get to those feats, as it were. You know, my dream was always to be in the ensemble of Les Mis, mm -hmm. um, and then after that, everything else has been a bit of a bonus. You know, so to be standing here as as Javert is, you know, it's a, a dream come true. And you know, I just count myself. You know, there's there's a million other people that could uh, do this role just as well as I can, um, and I'm, I just feel very privileged and honoured to be uh, a very small part in this huge production. So modest. Well, I, I don't know. I've, I've, I just just speaking truthfully. You know, it's um, it's a wonderful show, and I. You know, and I'm, I feel very, very grateful to be part of it. And if they fall at a loose of a bell, they flame the soul. Stop! In your own heart, scarcely counted, filling the darkness. In this day and age, new musicals only last for a year or less. Yes. But for uh, to uh, Les Mis, people keep coming back. Absolutely. What is the secret? Uh, I think it's, I don't know, I, for me it's escapism for the actor and for the audience member. You know, it's, it's pure escapism. Um, it allows uh, the audience member to hone in on an antagonist, a protagonist of Jean Valjean, of Javert, of the Thenardiers, of Fontaine, and follow that story. It's not just, you know, we we all hone in on, on, on the protagonist of, of Jean Valjean, but we can focus on the Thenardiers, we can focus on, on Fontaine, we can pick out one of the characters or the, one of the students, Les Glay, or something like that, and we can emphasize and we can, um, and we can familiarize ourselves with any one of these characters. And, you know, it doesn't matter if you're in a really happy mood or in a really sad mood, you can come and you can cry and let out all those feelings, or you can come and you can sing and dance along with everything. And, you know, those, I've never been part of a show that uh, has music that we can hear the first chords or the first couple of beats and you just hear it throughout the, the rest of the audience and I think that's you know it's very very special to be part of something like that In our country, there is a solid base of musical fans, but the, the majority, I cannot say the moral majority, 
does not like musical. Uh, the, the, the most commonly heard argument is breaking out in song is weird. Oh, okay. Uh, what is the uh, opinion of the uh, average East Enders viewer in Britain uh, of musical? <laughs> well, I think, you know, as I said earlier, uh, musical theatre and theatre in general is, uh, is escapism. We can put down our phones mm -hmm. and we can shut off from the outside world. And I think, you know, you can come to the theatre and you can love the singing, you can love the dancing, but you can also love the set design, the, the orchestrations, the lighting design. So it's not just about the actors that are on stage. There's so much that goes on behind it. I mean, look, the, the costumes that we, the, we wear, you know, if you're a designer, you might come to be able to just watch how incredible these costumes are, uh, you know, of the time and of the period. So it's not just about musical theatre and it's not just about the singing. So this show brings every kind of genre of, of acting, of performance, under one roof so it's you know do you know what I mean so it's, it's I think even if you're not a lover of music you can still come and appreciate just how much talent goes into a production like this talking about EastEnders yeah. you did seven episodes of EastEnders <laughs> I did. Um, in Holland yeah. um, musical stars also cross over to mm. uh, television soaps what did, made you decide to uh, do this crossover uh, I don't think uh, anything made me decide. I think, you know, as, as actors, we sometimes get these rare opportunities that an audition kind of comes along and and uh, and takes us out of our comfort zone. And, and I was just by chance the right fit for that particular character. And uh, and I grabbed the opportunity with both hands and, and enjoyed my time thoroughly. But, you know, singing is my, my favorite thing in the world. So, you know, if, if there's ever a chance to do that, I'm always going to take that. So, yeah, it was great. Though. What is your version of Javert? Oh, my version of Javert? I, that's really, really hard because, you know, I've been inspired by so many of the most incredible actors, Philip Quast, Earl Carpenter, uh, Tam Mutu, I've, you know, they all take a uh, huge part in, in my development of, of as an actor. Uh, I've read the book four times um, and I think, you know, it changes and evolves, you know, I've had been lucky to play this role since the age of 29 mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'm now 37 so you know it's been part of my blood and you know things have adapted and things have changed and you know and I've grown and matured as, as, a, as a person as well and, and those have knock-on effects as well so uh, I can't say if it's the right or wrong but it, but it feels right for me and that's the that's the main thing and, it, and we're telling the story so that's the main thing. Thank you. I hope to see you in February. Absolutely. I have tickets, so... Uh... Well, thank you very much. It was nice to meet you.